Hi everyone, I'm Jeremy Dalton. I work at Mass Doctor and we're involved with some live online mathematics tuition. And today I'll be going over some averages problems with you. Now we're going to talk about how to find the range. Suppose we're given a group of numbers. What is the largest number in your set? What is the smallest? And what is the difference or distance between these two numbers? Those are the questions you have to ask to find the range of a set of data. Let's take a look at an example. Suppose you're checking the weather forecast and it predicts the following temperatures for tomorrow. The highest temperature here is going to be 15. The lowest temperature is going to be 5. How do we find the range based on these two numbers? We simply take the, the lowest from the highest. So in this case, that's 15 minus 5. After doing that, we find that our range for this set of data is 10. Knowing the range will help you to understand how far apart your data is spread or how much it varies by. So let's look at another example to see when the idea of range is useful. On the table, you can see a list of iPad 2 prices in different cities in England. Now here you can see that the maximum price is located in Newcastle, and that is £505. Whereas the minimum price is located in Birmingham, and that is £492. OK, so let's work out the range between Newcastle and Birmingham. The maximum is 505. The minimum is 492. So we simply take away the smaller number from the bigger number. And we get 13 pounds. This range is a useful number because it tells you what money you can save by shopping around. But of course, you have to take into account your travel expenses. So that gives you a good example of why the range is sometimes useful to work out.